Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a quick look at the integral of the square root of 1 plus sine squared x all divided through by sec x cosec x dx. Okay, so before we do jump right in, I just want to quickly say thank you for everyone that's been liking and subscribing lately, and I really do appreciate that. If you have any more suggestions or different topics that you'd like to see me cover, please leave a comment down below, and I'd love to get around to them. So, with that being said, let's dive right in. So a problem like this, wherever you see a sine squared x, it's so, so tempting to immediately go back to your identity of sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. It's so tempting. But for this particular question, we're actually not going to be using that. The method that we're going to be using here is just a cheeky u substitution. So we're just going to say, let u equal to 1 plus sine squared x. That's all we're going to do here. So with that being said, let's quickly figure out, well, what would du dx be equal to? Well, all we're going to be doing here is just using our product rule. And so when we differentiate this, we know that it'll just end up becoming sine of x times cos of x plus sine of x times cos of x. And of course, you can just rewrite that as 2 sine x cos x. And so let's do that real quick. So 2 sine x cos x. Okay, so that's du dx. So what if we just want to replace that dx term there? So what I'd need to do now is just bring that dx up to the other side here and bring that 2 sine x cos x down to the left-hand side. So that means we would end up with our du over 2 sine x cos x is equal to dx. Okay, and so sine x and cos x in our denominator, well, we know that we can rewrite that actually as just being cosec and sec x. So I'll leave that 2 in the denominator there, but we know that we can go and put that as sec x cosec x up in that numerator now. Okay, so that's what dx is going to be equal to. So let's quickly rewrite our problem and see what we have. So square root of 1 plus sine squared x, well, we said that that was equal to u. So our problem now becomes the integral of the square root of u all over sec x cosec x and now timesing that by our dx but now we're rewriting that as sec x cosec x all over 2 and then du as well. Okay so really quick we see that our sec will cancel out, the cosec will cancel out and all we're left over with is a one half out the front times by the integral of the square root of u du. Okay, so let's quickly integrate this now. So what we'll do is we'll probably rewrite that as u to the power of a half. That way it's a little bit easier to see what's going to happen here. And so now integrating that, well, let's see. So we we'll still have that a half out the front. And now we will add 1 to that index here. So it would end up becoming 3 over 2. And then we divide by 3 over 2. So that means we'd then end up timesing that 1 half by a 2 over 3, and then u to the power of 3 over 2, and then just plus c, some constant term there. Okay, so that means now for our final answer, what we'll be left with is simply 1 over 3, 2's will cancel out, and let's not forget u was equal to 1 plus sine squared x. So let's rewrite that now as 1 plus sine squared x, all to the power of 3 over 2, plus C. And that's it. So that is our final answer for today. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And if you do have any particular recommendations, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to see them. As always, stay curious.